Today we'll be talking about module four of the series on climate change and environment. This module deals with ecosystems and biodiversity. This is a topic which most professionals don't talk about because uh, we are concerned with the clients we serve and the work we do. And we just take the ecosystem as granted. And uh, many times you don't even have the time to go and uh, enjoy the biodiversity that nature has given us. For example, in the state of Karnataka, which I toured extensively in 2019, we have such beautiful mountains and forests, which are the source of all our Kaveri water and the water for farmers who grow our food. So the food, water, and our life depends on these ecosystems. And so we should understand them better so that we can be better citizens and have a better life. So what are ecosystems? An ecosystem is the living community of plants and animals in any area together with the non-living components in the environment such as soil, air and water, which make up the ecosystem. So the biosphere or the earth we live in, for that the foundation is the ecosystems and it determines the health of the earth system. The interactions between the living beings and their environment form the foundation for energy flow and recycle of carbon and nitrogen, which again is essential for our life. Our whole body is made up of carbon, water. So these ecosystems are important. We should understand that and take care of them. And we are fortunate in India to be the ranked sixth among the 12 mega diversity centers in the world with 28 distinct biogeographic provinces, starting from the Himalayan foothills to Kanyakumari, from the Western Ghats to the Eastern Ghats. So being blessed with all this, we should understand, appreciate it, and preserve them for ourselves and for the future generations.